Fernando. Hey, how are you? Oh, we were, we were just, uh, we saw something going on, we wanted to take pictures. Huh? We were just saw something going on, we just wanted to take pictures. Is it okay, or? No, is it okay? So yeah, fourth day, Pete. Uh, it's been a, a pretty interesting experience so far. We've had a lot of opportunities to, to get around and meet folks and, you know, to explore and, and also to get our feet a little bit wet with, uh, with watching the police. You know, I guess for, for those that have uh, just tuned in recently, we had an interaction with the police last night. It was our third interaction. Um, and to get to that point, I think it's important to describe the first two. Uh, our first night out, you know, we ended up going around and I videotaped a police officer at a police station. They were very cold to the idea of being videotaped. And on the second night, we were driving around and we saw a makeshift checkpoint. And uh, when we approached, again, uh, one of the police officers came up to me and implied that it was time to go. And so last night, we went to a much more populated street called Long Street. And uh, we felt that maybe it was the best place to be able to show both the public and the police what watching the police is all about. Howdy. Thank you, my friend. Come with me. Yeah, I'm curious to hear what's going on tonight. What, excuse Thank me. Thank you. Come with me. What Hello. Are... Come with me. Captain. How are you? Captain. So I was there for the entirety of your, your initial contact. And once they pulled you away, I felt it was important to get what video documentation I had of these officers. Um, as far away from them as possible, should I have to identify them later. I made my way back to our spot. I immediately got in touch with our lawyer, and I also got in touch with our contacts on the ground. Um, so it was in that time period that I was able to contact you, and I uh, was very happy to know that, uh, that they had released you. So upon you getting back here, yeah, we sat down, we got in touch with Carlos Miller of Photography is Not a Crime, and made sure that we were uh, doing what we had to as far as taking these uh, steps to recover this data. I tried several of them when I tried to recover the other thing from my last arrest, and, and a lot of them suck, even though you had to pay for it, because the problem is when it comes to video, you want, you know, they don't recover the whole thing. They, they recover in bits and pieces. They break it down, and PhotoRec is the one that recovers everything. But it, it's you have to give it some time, man, because you can't just go in there and visualize, you know, see, oh, that's the one I want to get, you know. They're all like in blocks where you can't really see what's in them. So you have to remember everything. It's good if you have an extra external hard drive. Carlos Miller has definitely gotten behind one of them. I think it's called Photo Rec. Yep. Yes. Um, and my, my, I myself uh, utilized uh, Data Rescue 3. And, um, you know, you do a disk scan, and it, and it scan, you, you scan everything that, that's been deleted. And, um, and then you can recover it. And so yeah, that process took a little while, but, but we have it. But yeah, also key to the, this whole thing in, in any of these kind of situations, if you ever have video deleted, be sure not to record on that card or on that hard drive until you attempt to recover it because it could rewrite over the video. We can see that, that the cops definitely don't respect people in general and certainly don't respect people's rights and when it comes down to observing them or documenting them with video cameras. And so I think this is a good time, a moment in time for us to, uh, to flex a little bit. Uh, we will put this video out and we will make it live to the world. Uh, we understand that we have the right to observe the police. We understand that everybody in Cape Town and South Africa have the right to observe the police. Uh, now, now we can go and, and educate these police employees and, and doing so hopefully empower other people in the area to, to film the police and they know that it's the right. You know, that can help deter so many things, you know, especially in the, in the more rough, in the, in the areas where they, they roll pretty heavy.